Good evening, children. It's Granny Macduff, ready with a story. So make yourselves comfy, and I'll begin. Once upon a time, in midwinter, when snow covered the earth, when the sky was bright and clear, when the air was fresh and clean, when the northern lights twinkled bright, when the streets were quiet, and the wind was as frigid and sharp as an elfin forged sword. The family sat in a warm, cosy room by the fire. Just as I am now, as I read to you, little ones, telling you the tales of the olden days, telling you a legend. In the days of old, by the open sea, lay a Viking's grave. And every night at midnight, the ghost of the buried hero sits atop the hill and stares at the stars. He was a king, you see, and still his ghost wore his golden crown, his hair beneath it flowing in the night breeze. He was clad in iron, a true warrior, but a warrior grieving, a warrior trapped. Suddenly, a ship appeared. It sailed closer and closer until the men finally cast anchor. And after some time, they arrived on the beach. Among them was a poet. He asked the ghost, Why do you grieve so? And the ghost replied, I have been afforded no rest been given no peace, for no one has written or sung of my deeds. They are dead and gone, forgotten, a passing wind. No melody has carried them over the land and into the hearts of men. Tell me, king, for I am a poet, I shall sing for you. And so, the ghostly king told him all about what he had done in life. The great battles he had won, the people he had helped, the children he had had, and the wife he had loved. Then he said, Men would speak of me, but no man sung for me, for in my time there were no poets. The poet took his harp from his sack and began to sing of the hero, of the king, of the man. And the ghost disappeared. A million tiny pieces flew up into the stars. All that remained was the hero's grave. And suddenly, the poet was no longer a poet and his harp no longer a harp. But they were a bird, a most beautiful bird, with a song lovelier than any song that had ever been sung, a melody of the human heart, of love, of home. The bird of folklore, which never dies. We hear its songs everywhere, from our warm, cosy beds in winter to a cool summer day under the trees. It sings sweet songs of love, of faithfulness, of kindness, of fairy tales, of magic. It can speak to us of ancient times. For ancient times are from whence the bird of folklore came. 
in the days of knights and dragons, of iron fists and the scales of justice, for kings and queens, for farmers and traders. It sings for us all, for humans, for the world. And now it sings for us here in our time. The bird of folklore shall never die as long as there is music. It will carry our stories, our tales, our legends through time so that they are never forgotten. So, little ones, tell your stories, write them down, and sing a song every once in a while. And the bird of folklore will be flying near. Of that, I have no doubt. The end. drift off into a world of our own adventure. Good night, children. <laughs>